used though. Some uh, some things that seem like they might even be a little earlier than planned because it seemed to be coming from the, D the DC subscription website or something like that. Sort of kind of I don't know if leaks the right term in this case, but uh, it feels like they kind of just put it up on their site a week early, doesn't it? Yeah, because uh, not all of them have a like the usual amount of details we'd expect. You know, they don't honestly have a synopsis with like a team and a day. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's kind of hit and miss. One that was definitely intentional was the uh, is the Jackson book that's coming out. There's a, a limited series uh, called Aquaman the Becoming, uh, which would certainly imply that Jackson is going to be coming, uh, at least getting the title of Aquaman um, during the story. Uh, written by Brandon Thomas with art by Diego uh, Ortega. So this is um, a six-issue series. It is his first solo, solo title as a character. Um, and obviously they announced this this week to sort of tie into the, the Pride one-shot, uh, which makes a lot of sense. So, uh, cool. Um, I always forget. I, I see the name Brandon Thomas, and I'm thinking bland yeah. in my head, but I don't know if I'm mixing him up with someone else. I had the same reaction, to be fair. Mm -hmm. I just know Brandon Thomas did the feature state Aquaman. So if you didn't oh. enjoy that, yeah. I, I kind of liked it. It was... It wasn't great. It wasn't bad either, though. It was kind of... Yeah. He did. Yeah, come to this, he was in one of the backups for the Future State next Batman. I don't know which one he did. I think he also did the Outsiders one, which we enjoyed. That was good. I mentally, the art was done a lot of the lifting in that one, but it was good. True. Yeah. So I can't, I can't deny that. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, so that'll be launching in September. Um, so... Uh... Aqual I was going to say it's an Aqualad book, which it is in the sense that it's a Jackson book, but they are calling it Aquaman. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, neat. Um, so, what makes me wonder what they're doing with Aquaman then, you know, with Arthur uh, around this time, if they've got other plans for him or if there's some sort of separation. Or He's, he's dying in his in his 80th anniversary. Oh, uh, possibly. Or, or, or maybe we're we just going to have like multiple Aquaman running around. I, I, I would suspect he's taking some time to be a father. I would die. That'd be fine. I have no no problem with that being a reason. He's done some extended... Former, former ruler, full-time dad. Well, yeah. we can have a book called Aqua Paternity Leave uh, coming out. Uh, Aqua Dad. Aqua Dad. <laughs> uh, next up, there's a new Deathstroke book coming. It's called mm -hmm. Deathstroke Inc. and it's coming from Joshua Williamson and Howard Poor, so uh, one of the, the the main sort of team ups of the Flash Rebirth book. Uh, uh, so I, I know Williamson was real close friends with Bendis. Did he borrow the Bendis cloning machine? Because he's got a lot right now. Did you see how interesting it was? He was he was planning on leaving DC after after really. Flash. Yeah, when it was he he, he had a, an interview a couple of weeks ago. Hmm. And it was around the time he, he's basically say he didn't say in so many words, but when five G was the plan, yeah, he was going to step back from DC and not write anything at all. Huh. And then things changed, and now he's basically spearheading a lot of it with the because I think he's doing the uh, well, he's doing the crisis, is yeah. What it's called? yeah, he's something like that. He's I don't doing what, the, the main death. He's doing frontier. And for frontier. frontier. He's doing for frontier. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, this is getting way off topic here. We've spiraled But yeah, this. so Deathstroke Inc. Yes, Deathstroke Inc. Uh, when enlisted <laughs> to work with the ages-old secret organization called Trust, who want to take down the heavy hitter villains, he's all in. So, uh... Trust? I don't. No. I do not trust. That is a fair statement. Um, I mean, I'm not I'm not pumped for a, uh, a Deathstroke. But I mean, uh, Williamson, and I think Williamson has shown... Uh, his strength since mm -hmm. Flash has been done. Everything he's done since then has been yeah. uh, it really almost, good. It almost felt to me like he just wanted to hit over 100 issues on Flash. Right? Mm -hmm. And so once he got that, and now that's all out of his system, he's it's reinvigorated him now that he doesn't have to work on Flash. I don't think it's just you that. I, I think his plans no. for Flash got heavily changed because of editorial. Sure, that, that could be that too. But I don't know. I just feel like if he had all the stuff he wanted to do in Flash... That was taking up his his bandwidth. Now he doesn't have to do that. He's free to do all this other stuff. Um, and as a, as a fan of his creator own stuff, I I know what he's capable of and how good that can be. I mean, so like something like this, I'm definitely willing to check out. I mean, when this comes out, I mean, Infinite Frontier will basically be wrapping up, if not done, 
because it's double shipping when it hits. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll be this and Robin that he's got going on, which is a weird pairing of books, unless I'm forgetting another one that he's got going, but I don't think there's another. Um, no. So it's, 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 it doesn't seem like too much. It feels like he'll be on two books. Yeah. Interesting pair of books, though. <laughs> you yes. Know, Robin. But it just seems he's also working on, he's at the Future State book, right? The the Red Hood one. He's He's contributing to all these smaller... He just he seems true. like his name's out there a lot right now, and like good for him. But again, you know, there's always that thing: is how does Johns and Bendis have so much time to work in 24 no, hours? The future state you know? stuff is a a good one that I'd forgotten. But at least with that mm-hmm. one, like again, like will he still be like? Because that feels like something that may rotate teams between arcs. <laughs> if, if you know, if it's still going even by the time we get, to yeah. which it probably will be. But um, I don't know. It's an interesting mix, is, is what I think, though, is you, you've got your Mortal Kombat Robin stories, a Deathstroke story, mm-hmm. which maybe will tie in because Rose is in Robin. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, there might be a connection there. Uh, but obviously, Infinite Frontier is like, okay, this is him spearheading like, the main direction for the DC universe right mm-hmm. now, which I don't necessarily think is going to tie in beyond maybe like a fun Easter egg to his ongoing books because. I don't see Rob in Mortal Kombat being, like, integral yeah. to the, the fabric of the future of the DC universe. We say that, but, you know... You never know. Immortality's... <laughs> yeah, immortality is at play, and who knows yeah. what that means in DC. You know, we, we know there's something more going on from issue two. You, you, so. don't, you, don't, you, you do never know, but, uh, but hey, cool. Uh, the Halloween special this year, your, your typical $10 anthology book, uh, is called Are You Afraid... Of Dark Side, which is they they a fun just title. needed the the. Are you afraid mm-hmm. of the Dark Side? That's all. It's missing the. the is, I mean, it's still meant to be a reference yeah. to that show, uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's that. Nothing much to add. There's not even a list of creators yet, like you you know you often get when these are announced properly, which is why this feels kind of early. Uh, especially given how late we got solicits last month, this feels way early in the month to be getting any of these stories. But uh, tis what it tis. And then the last one's a little bit weirder. Uh, there's a, a, a new Teen Titans special reuniting um, Nightwing, mm-hmm. Superboy, Donna Troy, Starfire, and more. Um, this is coming from uh, Kevin Scott with artist Jose Lewis. Uh, but this sounds like it's going to be a sort of graphic novel size special rather than a, a mini series or anything like that. Uh-huh. Uh, so this this was something else that popped up uh, this week. So. Yes. Which is weird because this is an odd uh, collection of of titans and non titans. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know, so well I should say non titans. Red Hood's really the only non titan, but um, yeah, just Superboy being in there with Nightwing and some it's of the strange originals. Lineup. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. Maybe maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just because they're calling it New Teen Titans because we obviously we associate Superboy with a later version of the team that's not the New Teen yeah, Titans. Just. It's, just Teen Titans. Yeah. Adjectiveless. Yes. Uh, Even though objectively he is in a newer version of the Teen Titans than the new Teen Titans. Yeah. Were. But he is not in the new Teen Titans. No. Right. But he is objectively in new Teen Titans material. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a Superboy, not the Superboy. Basically, what they have to say on, on this to make it clear <laughs> what they're talking about is that this is new New Teen Titans material. New, new, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Uh, so there you go. That's the news. No, this is after I, I missed. Whoa, whoa. That you've the actual got. announcement from DC about new books that came out this week because a lot of these were like you know just kind of off the. I did off not the see. I did not see actual announcement. What, what the, we got? The return of Fables. Wow. Yeah, which is obviously you know long running Vertigo book with. Okay, I don't feel bad. I, I did not feel bad for missing this. Now, I, the way you were saying that there made me think I'd missed some huge announcement about a big mainline well, DC yeah. thing. Well, the first thing back for it is a uh, a six issue mini called Batman versus Bigby, a, a Wolf in Gotham. <laughs> like, that's out. pretty. That's pretty big. Eh. It's, it, eh. it's a cute crossover with a, a non mainline DC thing, right? This is. Like I'm not saying I'm it's, sorry. it's not you're as not like... it's not as lame as Batman Fortnite, but I am equally kind of whatever on it. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. When they announced <laughs> a Conjuring tie-in, you're like, no, this is proper DC news. We are covering this. This is being covered Little. on the show. Little. This is more DC than that. Okay, so we have a six-issue mini starting in I think <laughs> September. Mm-hmm. Um, but then from May of next year, 
they're bringing the series back, like just the main series, and it's picking up at issue 151. It's not renumbering or anything. It's just, hey, issue 151 is coming back in May with a 12-issue arc. I mean, that's nice for fans. But I, you know, the way you said, though, there's actual news and you were pulling me up, I thought, oh, I've, I've missed some big... Uh, there's a relaunch of Green Arrow, or I've missed the relaunch of something. It's one of the biggest news stories in comics this week. <laughs> and it's DC related, because it's all being published under Black Label. <laughs> and you hit me with Fables is back, and there's going to be a Batman crossover with it.